Well, welcome. I am Christina Henderson, Executive Director of the Montana High Tech Business Alliance. Welcome to our discussion on creating cultures that drive growth with Kendall Clifton Short. This event is part of a monthly Lunch and Learn series on people and culture hosted by the Montana High Tech Business Alliance and Within People. You can find details of future sessions at mthitech.org slash events. Our presenter today, Kendall Clifton Short, is a partner at the global firm Within People and is based in Bozeman. Uh, today's beginning presentation will be recorded, but the discussion with participants will not be recorded to allow everyone to talk freely. And with that, I'll now turn the floor over to Kendall Clifton Short to get us started. Thanks, Christina. Hello, everyone. It's lovely to see some familiar faces and some new faces. We were just talking about how everyone in Bozeman, or at least in well, Bozeman, but I'm assuming Montana wants to be on vacation in the summer and so um, whether we need a pause, but we've got a couple of people here so we can have a more intimate conversation, which is fun. Um, but we're really here to talk about creating cultures that drive growth. So we've kind of been doing this, this, this same format, if you like, let's have a quick um, I, let, I guess let's position the conversation a little bit and then let's start the actual conversation where everybody else gets to share who they are and their interests specifically in this topic. So with that in mind, um, Emily and I are both here from Within People and we're really here to talk, as Christina said, about how do we create cultures that drive growth. And in our world, we often hear these, um, it's almost like a zero-sum game. It's like either growth or it's culture and people talking about um, you know, having to make a choice, especially in, if they're in the startup world, about one or the other. Whereas in our world, it's really about, well, actually, it's not one or the other. It's that one drives the other. And if we can get the culture right, then we have got our growth taken care of. It's a bit like um, sort of a virtuous circle. Do we decide what we're going to do and then hope that that tra attracts people to wanting to come and do it with us or do we decide what impact we want to have and do we like build a culture of impact that pulls people towards us? So if that's the conversation that we're here to have and these two things actually are, are inextricably linked rather than an either or, I guess the here we are, here's me and here's Emily too. And yes, this is some of the work that we do at Within People. We actually work globally, but also um, Emily and I are specifically focused on legally. We have a, a team in South Africa and we have a team in uh, the UK as well as on the West Coast of um, the US, which gives us the privilege of uh, global perspective, um, but, and also a very deep understanding that glo uh, culturally, those three different um, landscapes, if you like, are radically different. And I also do some work in Asia and Australia because of what I sound like and where I come from. And of course, this conversation is showing up in a slightly different context or a slightly different way in all those different markets. So we talked about this last time. I think uh, you've seen this before, Amy, but like, what, what do we mean by growth? You know, old way of thinking in our world is that the goal is like revenue or stock price. We still have some clients that come to us. And when we say, what, what, what success look like? They're like being the number one insert, like large food conglomerate manufacturer, um, you know, hospitality organization in insert space. And that's like, great. Or getting a political party out of, um, a power and it's like great and then what do we do once we've become number one or we've got that political party out of power do we like sit back and go to the beach and be happy that our work is done like what I guess what my point is what's wrong with like that being the sort of our goal being very like outcome based is that what do we do when we get there and rather than thinking about this end point how how can we start to think about what drives us towards that end point and fuel that piece of the equation rather than um, just drive the outcome. So in our world, there's sort of like, how do we even start to unpack this question? And this is this is that sort of the beginnings of the, the answer, but it's not really the answer because it's really like three drawers that we can pull down. So first of all, we need to understand what success is, okay? Is it number one or is it something else? Like in our world, 
We all are in business because we want to have a certain impact. Now, that may be financial in our own pocket as well, but what are we doing? What change do we want to see in the the world? And how are we understanding our role in making that change? So what does success look like to us? What does um, growth even mean? Like, where are we trying to get? What's the outcome? What's the impact of that? Once we have that really clear, we can start to answer questions or we can start to ask ourselves questions, I should say, about like, well, how do we empower our team to deliver that success? And that immediately changes the relationship between us as the leader and our, our people as the um, non-leaders, I guess. But how, what do we need to do? How do we need to be organized? What do we need to unlock for people? What do we need to empower in people so that they can start to deliver on that success? And then the last question we can then start to organize, our, ask ourselves once we've got those two things clear is like, great, okay, of all I've now discovered, which pieces am I actually doing really well all the time at the moment? And I can sort of put to bed and know that, that they will keep rolling merrily on. And where is there some gaps that would be valuable for me to start to address? And which gap filling, if you like, is going to give me the most bang for my buck, time, resource, energy um, in the short term? So I, I guess, again, these are all draws. There's like more questions housed within each of those questions and the answer to each of these questions sort of guides the direction for any organisation where they would need to spend their time. But like how can we get con- clear on what growth means to us? How do we then empower people to deliver that? And then how do we, as the leaders, unlock the potential or the untapped potential that sits within our organization to do that better. So if that's sort of the conversation that we're here to have um, with this small group, which is going to be lovely, um, how let, let's hear from 